Hey everyone, I wanted to show you what I'm making for dinner tonight. I'm gonna try to fly by the seat of my pants here. I kind of looked at a few recipes for like a Szechuan shrimp type thing, but none of them were actually straight keto. Um, so, this is all of my ingredients. Shrimp, some onion chopped up, some broccoli. I actually bought the broccoli somewhat chopped already and ready to go, that kind you don't have to do anything with. And then I chopped it up a little more. These will go on top once I get it finished. We're gonna put a little bit of sriracha. We've got the gluten-free tamari. Sesame oil is a must. Anytime you make something like this, Szechuan chicken, beef stir fry, chicken for stir fry, whatever. This is a massive mound of mixture of garlic and ginger, fresh ginger. So, this is awesome. Again, like I said in the video yesterday, if you don't ever want to do any of this stuff in just plain, you've got to add all this stuff. You wouldn't believe what adding sesame oil, what kind of flavor that adds. So, I'm going to pour in some sesame oil and get my veggies going. So, they'll cook for a little bit. I'm pretty liberal with the sesame oil because I want it to flavor everything as well as be able to cook. I already heated the pan a little bit. I'm gonna put in my onions. Hmm. And I'm gonna put in my broccoli and let that, let those stir fry for a little bit. I actually, for this recipe, I'm gonna cook them a little bit more than maybe I would usually. So we'll let that happen and we'll add the garlic in just a few minutes. I've added some soy sauce. Can you smell what she's cooking? So I am super winging it tonight. I thought I had a plan when I started and my plan has already changed. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna make my sauce because I want some sauce with this. And my idea is that it's like a red spicy sauce. We'll see, I told you I didn't really have a recipe. I just kinda, so I'm taking the veggies out and I'm gonna use this same pan. I probably better turn that down a little bit. I'm gonna throw some butter in there. Let that cook for a second. Get that melted. I'm just waiting. Can you hear Steve Harvey in the background? This is what we do on Friday nights at our house. Cook. It's exciting times, I know. Getting ready for a little hockey tonight, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. Lightning play tonight. Our Preds fans don't need to get mad. We're just, uh, you know. Preds play tomorrow. It's from Tampa. You got to do, right? So, all right, so I'm going to do that butter. Now that that butter's in there, I'm going to add some, I don't know, some chicken stock. I would have actually liked some veggie stock for this, but I didn't have any. So I'm gonna go with, and then I'm gonna try and get some of this stuff off the bottom a little bit for that. I'm gonna add some soy sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit of sriracha. We kind of like spicy, so I think it's gonna end up a little super spicy. Maybe a little more chicken broth. It looks like it could use a touch. Mix all that up. I'm gonna let this, whoo. Yep, it's gonna be spicy. If you made this, you don't have to add sriracha at all. But if you like it spicy, it looks like it's gonna be. So I'm gonna turn that back up a little bit. And then I'm gonna add my shrimp. So 
We got like a pound of shrimp from Publix. Um, if you've never cooked shrimp before, shrimp takes like two minutes to cook and you really want to keep it at that. You don't want to overcook the shrimp. So there it is. Looking at the time, the shrimp's in there. Literally gonna give that about two minutes and then I think what I'm gonna do is thicken this a little bit and then we'll be good. I'm gonna put that back in there, mix it all together once I thicken the sauce a little bit. I've got some, a mixture, I have cornstarch because I don't have my other stuff. So it's just some water and cornstarch, which technically I don't think is uh, keto, but it's Friday night, and neither is this, so, you know, we do what we do. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to let those cook. We got two minutes on that. I will show you. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. Cauliflower rice. I bought the cauliflower rice in the bag. While that's going, I'll show you. That kind. Green Giant says, just cauliflower nothing else in it so no added anything so this is already done all I have to do is put this bag in the oven I think in the microwave on high five to six minutes so we're gonna do that let's stand one minute you guys get to see me trying to adjust so I get out my glasses so we're gonna do that and have that ready and I'll show you how this finishes up awesome come look at the shrimp it looks really good. So the sauce is thickening up. I probably could add a little bit more. I'm going to still put a little more um, chicken broth in there because I'm running and I need to turn it down. You know, and the reason I'm showing you guys these um, things of me doing this is because I feel like all we get to see is like the polished versions of people doing their stuff in their pretty kitchens my oven thing is here is a mess but anyway um i don't know i didn't i started with somewhat of a plan and then we've just evolved into this i think that that takes time so in the beginning i had to have an exact recipe or i would not leave the script at all it is only in the last few years that i would have gotten brave enough to try this without have Kind of knowing where I was headed or having a recipe, but this is, you know, I don't mind doing it now. So we'll see how it turns out, and then I'll let you know how how it is. So even that much. So now I've made it, and there is some sauce, and my sauce is not like super thick. I just added just a little bit of the cornstarch water mixture. So what I'm going to do is add my veggies back in. Probably have. Because I added that last little bit and took that time to add the uh, this more chicken broth, I may have kind of overcooked my shrimp a little bit. You'll know because your shrimp gets chewy, but that's all right. So I'm tossing that back in. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off so there's no more heat on my shrimp because everything else was cooked. So the veggies are in there with all of that garlic and ginger. I've got my sauce, shrimp. Our cauliflower rice will be out of the microwave in a second. And as soon as that's done, we'll pour this over some cauliflower rice and it's gonna be awesome. So we'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, so we have our finished product. We did some cauliflower rice and yep, I'm using paper plates because I don't feel like doing dishes. I wanna watch hockey. So You're fancy like that. We are fancy like that. So I'm gonna do some of this Real on world. our rice. Personally, with like a little more shrimp on there, and hopefully a little more sauce. But anyway, so there we have it. Do a little bit of chives on top for a little something. And there you go. That's good stuff.